Welcome everybody, my name is Adam, also known as the Swedish car guy. In my channel I do car reviews, car meets and uh, car products. And today we have a, have a car review of this Cupra uh, Fumato. And this is a new model uh, from Cupra. And Cupra is like a, a child uh, company to Seat. But they have branched out th themselves. And this car has 245 horses. It's a six-speed uh, automatic, uh, it's front-wheel drive, and it has 250 uh, in torque, and it can go on uh, electric six miles. Uh, this engine uh, has also electric power, and it's a 85 kilowatts engine, and with just electric motor, it produces 400 torque, and uh, this is rolling on 370 uh, front uh, discs as well. And on the rear, you got 310 uh, rear disc brakes as well. And uh, it's actually pretty easy uh, in the handling compartments since it actually takes all the bumps pretty good. So at least you have got good stopping power, always good to have. And uh, this Cooper has a lot of space. It's actually 345 liters. And as you can see, you can actually put your seats down as well to get even more space. And this is for the electric charging as well. Uh, so it has a lot of space, so I think this gets the approval and look What are, are we having here? Fake exhaust tips. That's a big 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 no And as you can see you have a lot of space. Uh, the seats are actually pretty good and I'm around 175 high and uh, I have a lot of head space here as well So this is no argument that you can fit at least five people in the back. So just get approval as well. I think it's pretty good, you see it pretty nice as well and a lot of space to move your legs. Welcome to this interior of this car. As you can see uh, we have a really nice steering wheel and the material is so much better. You also got the stitching all around the interior as well and it has, I don't know what material this is but it's actually quite nice quality and uh, the display that you have uh, in the front of you is a 10 inch display where you see everything and if you go to the infotainment, this is a 12 inch screen. I think it's the same as in the Volkswagen ID3. Uh, I'm not actually quite sure, but it's a good quality. And you ha also have paddles if you want to shift by yourself. And then you have this lever here where you change uh, if you want to go in parking mode, uh, neutral, rear, and uh, drive mode. And then you have this little button here that's actually change how the car is driving as well but if you check in the display we are actually right now in sport mode as well uh, so you have to show how the interior looks at, at uh, this car car weighs 1700 kilos so almost two ton of a car but it actually don't feel like that when you are driving it so how it is is this to drive it actually feels pretty quick uh, and yeah, it's a big car as I mentioned before, but it takes all the jumps and bumps pretty good as well uh, I'm actually quite surprised how good handling is in this car uh, To be completely honest and right now we are driving uh, On a normal road just feeling the car how it is and right now I'm actually in sport mode and it actually has the Cupra mode, but we are just Just keeping it, but it has pretty good flow. I think it accelerates pretty quick and the brakes, they're really good as well. And we all know that brakes really matter on cars. And since this is such a heavy car, the brake is so important as well. But I actually like it since we are actually driving in a quite bad road at the moment. But it's, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Accelerate quite good as well. Uh, I feel pretty safe when I'm driving this. And I don't know if you can see, but the hood is pretty long as well. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind when you are driving this car that you have to watch out and right now we are in sport mode so just try it out to the speed limit here yeah, it's, it's quite quick actually and it's even more quicker when you change into Cupra mode but we will eventually do that when we are up on the highway yeah you can lose it right also can you touch my oxen and uh, what you just saw is that when you have a car uh, right by you uh, the lights will actually turn uh, to get you a notification like a warning signal so that's i think that's pretty awesome i haven't seen any car with that function before 
So that's pretty good. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you all think about it. And, and this car does uh, 0 to 100 in uh, 7 seconds uh, straight. Now we have used all of the electric power, so now let's just hear the engine. Oh, it sounds so good, so good. I absolutely love this. Uh, since that's why the car has been so quiet before. Since uh, we have just driven, uh, driven with the electric power, but just listen to that sound. That that's a quite a good sound. And right now I'm still in Cooper mode as well, so the car is a little bit more aggressive as well. Since we have, <laughs> yeah, I quite like that sound. What do you all think uh, that watching? Do you like the sound as well? Because I think it's pretty good sound. So uh, now that we have driven this car, what's my impression of this car? I think the, uh, it's a really good value car and I would highly recommend it. And the price uh, in the, from this car starts at 464,900 Swedish crowns. Uh, so what do you all think about this car? Do you like it? Let me know in the comment section and if you like this video don't forget to give me a like. Uh, hit the notification and subscribe and I'll talk to you next Sunday. Take care. Bye.